So I'm Jeanette Dyke. I'm the resident goldsmith here at Monsalvat in Eltham. And I make jewellery. I originally started as a silversmith uh, in England. All my training was done in England. And I've been doing this for 35 years. I did an art foundation course which covered all the different arts from ceramics, sculpture, painting, jewellery. Gravitated towards jewellery, loved it and ended up doing a degree. Uh, after the degree in jewellery and silversmithing I worked for a silversmith in London. From there I got into the Royal College of Art in London and did a two years master's degree course. And after that, set up my first workshop in London. So this is my gas torch where I do most of my soldering, which is joining the metals together. Then I have some stone setting equipment, some engravers up there, the pliers to manipulate the metal, and every time you do something different with the metal, you seem to be a, need to use a different tool. So I specialise in engagement rings and wedding rings. And I do a lot of granulation. This is one of my fitted granulation wedding rings. And black lantern engagement ring. A little stone wedding ring. And I also do little topper rings. So you can transform a piece of jewellery just by adding extra elements. Uh, this is black diamond. I work in precious metals, so mainly 18 karat gold. This is 18 karat white gold and yellow gold. And then precious gemstones. This is um, 18 karat yellow gold on oxidized silver. And you heat the metal up to a temperature where they start to fuse together. So that's why it's known as fusing. So this is one of the men's wedding rings that I do with black diamonds. And if I have a lady's ring, uh, this is all those little decorations around the side are fused on. All of these individual pieces are hand carved and then they're melted into the surface. If I overheat it during that process, I can lose everything in one go. So this is a draw bench. When I melt down some client's work, so for example, they'll bring in some old jewellery and I'll melt it into a big ingot. And then that ingot can be drawn down um, in plates. So I have different shaped plates, which make different shaped wires. I'll chop up the little pieces of gold into here and I will use um, an oxypropane torch, which is incredibly hot. We're going to over a thousand degrees Celsius. And it'll be a, a fairly big flame for this one, specifically for melting. I will melt the gold in the crucible. And then when it's hot enough, I can pour it into the mold. And this will make round wire of different diameters. This is a wine jug, holds a liter of red wine and it has four handles at the bottom so that you can pass it around the table between company present. Just to encourage a little bit of um, socialising between people. I just fell in love with the place. I love old things and it reminds me of home, it reminds me of Europe. This studio reminds me of England. It's got a kind of medieval great hall feel about it, the mezzanine level. Uh, and so it was just the perfect thing to remind me of home.